Good morning, everyone. So today I want to talk about one lifestyle tip, one change that I would encourage each and every one of you to make out there. It's inexpensive, it's free, and it's easy to do once you start making a habit of it. Before we, before we get there, I'd like to talk about the liver detox that we just went through about over 9,500 people around the world who went through a liver cleanse last weekend. And we still have people who have been doing it and have been reporting fantastic results of how their appetites have shrunk, they're feeling cleaner, bloating, flatulence, and a lot of other issues, including acidities disappeared. People are feeling like they've gotten a clean body. So you can visit my Facebook, Facebook page thread where we did the liver detox and actually read about how a simple cleanse, elimination, helping the human body to eliminate toxic waste over the years actually gives you almost like a new body. It's like a reset button in your body that you switch on. Anyway, back to today's lifestyle tip. <clears throat> I want to talk about raw food. Now, I'm not here to promote a raw food diet or any of that. I'm against extreme diets. But the, the importance of adding raw food to your diet is extremely beneficial when it comes to healing and prevention of disease. So let me give you an example. Now, picture your blood vessels. The inner lining of your blood vessels have ultra-thin sensitivity have ultra-thin sensitive cells called endothelial cells. Now, it's also called your endothelium. The function of these endothelial cells is to regulate blood pressure and blood flow. Now, when these endothelial cells are in good condition, they allow communication between your cells and they allow the absorption of vital oxygen and nutrient-rich blood to reach your cells. And that's the foundation of good health and good immunity. Now, when there is oxidative stress caused by poor eating habits, too much of sugar, too much of the wrong salt, stress, improper sleep, inadequate exercise, we put oxidative stress on these endothelial cells that line your arteries. These endothelial cells get damaged and then the body's natural defense mechanism is inflammation. Now, when you have this inflammation in your endothelial cells, <clears throat> number one, it alters the way your blood flows. Number two, it reduces the production of a very important molecule called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a molecule that signals your arteries when to dilate. Now, because your arteries don't dilate because you have less nitric oxide, you have higher blood pressure. Higher blood pressure leads to most of your cardiac diseases, right from clots to strokes and to cardiac arrests. So how do we reduce and how do we improve the health of these endothelial cells? Now let's take this model back to your pancreas for diabetes. <clears throat> when your liver health is poor and you have too many gallstones, your bile finds a different pathway to travel. It travels now through your pancreas. It irritates the cells of your pancreas producing inflammation. When there's inflammation, your pancreas are in, unable to produce the right amounts of insulin. And we all know when you cannot produce the right amounts of insulin, what happens? So we're going to talk about this one simple lifestyle change, the addition of raw foods to your diet. Now you can have cooked food. I'm not against cooked food, but we need to understand that most of the nutritional value in cooked food is at an extreme low. Number one, we live in a world where most of our soil is depleted, which means a plant, a, a raw plant that grows from depleted soil is also depleted in nutrition. So by the time a bunch of spinach or coriander or parsley or vegetables reaches your tabletop, it is already devoid of most of its nutrition. And then we cook it or we steam it or we fry it and we kill most of the nutrition. Now I'm not here to tell you to go completely raw food, although that's a great idea if you can do it. The lifestyle change that we should all aim at making is with every meal that we eat, can we add some raw food to it? So you give yourself cooked food and you also give yourself raw food. So your, your body gets the live enzymes, the raw enzymes from raw food that does most of the repair in your pancreas, your endothelium and your entire body. When you get live and raw enzymes from raw food, it lines your mucosal linings in your stomach, your intestines, your colon, leading to better digestion. Better digestion means better assimilation of nutrition and absorption into your body. We all know by now it's not about what you eat, it's about how your body breaks it down and how your body digests it. So the simple lifestyle changes, let's look at breakfast. How can we add raw food to our breakfast? 
So if you start off with fruits and if you've all watched a video on the benefits of having fruits on an empty stomach, on the benefits of having fruit at breakfast, you've already done the first bit of adding raw food to your breakfast. So you can have fruits and then you cook breakfast or you could just do fruits right up to lunchtime, that choice is yours. But you've gotten raw live enzymes into your body. Lunch. So if you could have some raw vegetables along with your cooked food, you've already made a lifestyle change of adding raw to cooked. <clears throat> your evening snack. It could be fruits, it could be nuts, it could be seeds or a hot snack, but the idea is you've added raw food to your diet. And dinner likewise, it could be a glass of vegetable juice, it could be a bowl of salad, along with your cooked food if you don't want to give up on that. I don't give up on cooked food, but I add more raw foods to my diet. So the idea is that every meal or every time you're eating something, can you get in a proportion of raw and cooked? So a good proportion would be 50% of cooked food and a balance 50% of raw. That would be a great start. If you can't do that, it could be 70% cooked and 30% raw. That's a great start as well. Now when you're eating junk or you're binging, you're eating out, try to follow the same values. You see the problem with junk food is it deprives our body and cells of nutrients. So if I want to eat some junk food or something that's bad for my body, I also want to give my body some good nutrients. So I'll probably, if I'm going to have some junk right now, I'll probably try to get a fruit in before. Or I'll have some junk with a bowl of salad on the side or a vegetable juice or some fruit before that. So the idea is balance. Where do we come midway? I'm not over here to tell people to go onto extreme diets, but if you like something, eat it the right way. So try to make this one lifestyle change of adding raw to every meal of your day and you will see that your heart health, your pancreas health, your overall health of your organs and your body starts falling in place. How does this work with weight loss? Because when you give your cells the right nutrition, the right amount of enzymes, then your cells, the chemistry between your cells and your hormones improve. And by now we all know that weight loss is not about burning calories. Weight loss is about good chemistry and good communication between your cells and your hormones. That's how the body loses weight. We use live enzymes, raw enzymes from nuts, seeds, vegetables, fruits, onions, garlic, all of that stuff. So even having raw onion after a meal is adding raw food to your plan. So try making this lifestyle change. We're going to work on this for the next few days. Start posting your breakfast, lunch and dinner and how you've managed to add some proportion of raw. Let me give you an example. I do it with fruits, I do it with nuts, I do it with seeds, I do it with carrot juices, cucumbers and vegetables. Now in India, it may not be the right season to go raw on leafy vegetables because of contamination, pesticides <clears throat> due to the monsoons, but you always have vegetables. like carrots, cucumbers, beetroots. These can be peeled, so you get rid of the pesticides, you make a juice out of it, you make a bowl of salad out of it, or you just eat it raw. So that's the lifestyle tip for today. Add raw with your cooked food. So until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep. Have a good day, everyone.